All right, let's continue. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Um, all right, we got a fig tree going on here. It's starting to leaf out, but you know, I mean, it's 75 degrees yesterday and today is 50 degrees. That's like a dramatic difference. This is Earth Angel. Fragrant Plum is right here. This is Leonardo da Vinci. I have an autumn ember. I don't know if you can see this. An autumn ember Japanese maple, Japanese um, rose. I'm sorry, a Japanese tree. But it's also another flowering tree, but it's, it, it actually flowers twice. So we have it flowering in uh, spring as well in fall. It's just a baby though. So hopefully, you know, by next year it will double in size. You can actually see her. See? Okay, right next to her that I'm planting is over the moon rose. This is the one from heirloom roses.com. Okay, uh, this is um, Bliss, but she's not doing really well because I had her indoors over the winter. Um, I just brought her out here and digged her in last week, and you know. But I do have I do ho have hopes that she will come up. Look at James Galway. My dogs actually destroyed <laughs> um, some of the branches, but it is so tough. Look at him. All right. And then we have Princess Grace. She's leafing out. We have Sweet Juliet over there. And those are some um, lilies that my mom got. She decided to plant it right behind my gigantic Kwansan cherry tree, which is up here. You can see that it already has buds. So. Before you know it, it's going to be blooming profusely. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Right in the front here is Fragrant Plum, the rose. I don't know if you can see it through the birdcage. I put the birdcage to protect it from the dogs. Mustard wood. Uh, he did not look so good last year. He bloomed and then seemed like he died, but look at him this year. Okay, we have heirloom rose. Um, she's not doing so well over there. However, you know, I know how to get her to get green again, so no worries. And we have some peonies planted. You can see it edging out of the ground. See? And then we have Abraham Darby. I have high hopes for Abraham Darby because he is exquisite. And then Emerald Lace Acer. It's very small, but it will continue growing. This is a... This is a... Uh, hun not Honeycrisp. It's um, Golden Delicious. Right now it's just a stick, but I see branches coming out little by little. Hopefully it will get more and more. And this is my prairie... Fire apple, crab apple. Oh. We have lots of birds in this neighborhood, so they're going to love feasting on those apples in the fall. But yeah, it's blooming very nicely. Okay, and that is right there. I don't know if you can get a good shot at it, but you can see it. It is starting to green out. This is my goal, um, my Honeycrisp apple tree. This is its third year. Last year we only got four. <laughs> we only got four apples, but they were so good. And uh, this year I expect that we will get a lot more. All right, let's move on from there. Okay. This is Bing Cherry Tree. We just planted this one last year. Last summer, late last summer. Can't wait to get the fruits on them. And then I have another one, another cherry tree. And this one is Rainier. Rainier is looking good now. Look at that. Okay, this is my baby blue spruce. I have two of them. Got it from fast growing trees. And then today, 
My mom got me this stunner. This is a double whipping cherry blossom tree. Wow, look at all the branches that are going down. I am just in awe. Look at all the buds under it. You can see the buds. Let me give you a good eye view of it. See if you can see it from here. No, oh, it's gorgeous. Alright, well thank you for tuning in. Till next time.